milk butter pound cake with a um, confectioner sugar glaze and it's supposed to kind of taste like an old-fashioned buttermilk donut so I'm just gonna be doing the prep work and I'll give you the recipe as we go along this is that spray I don't know it ain't been used in a while maybe I'll plug it up. it's supposed to have the sugar, the flour in it this ain't working worth the dough. Stick. Yes, I'm using a ridiculous amount. I hate cake sticks. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is I've got two cups of sugar in here and I'm fixing to put. I'll start that on low. And I fix to put three sticks of butter. So, so far, two cups of sugar, three sticks of butter. I'm just gonna get all cream down in there. We're just using greater value real butter. I got the other stick of butter out because I've gotta make my little granddaughter a fudge brownie pie she comes home tonight and she loves chocolate and i think she'd be very disappointed if she got here and i didn't have one for me but we got a couple that don't like chocolate too much so i like to make a plain cake that they can do what they want to with it um let me get the vanilla flavoring you didn't get that out from the video oh thank you we're gonna just pour some of that down in here. That looks like a teaspoon or two. That's good. And I'm gonna reach back right here. I've got some kosher salt. I'm gonna get a pinch of that, put that in there. So, so far, creaming together is vanilla bean paste, two cups of sugar and three sticks of real butter. And I'm sure my mama used to use margarine, but I don't buy margarine. They still make margarine, don't they? Oh, well. Anyway, I don't, I don't use margarine. I don't use anything artificial, if I can help it. <clears throat> you know the reason why they invented margarine or whatever was to fatten up turkey so they could sell them at Thanksgiving. So remember that next time you crack open. And it, and it's like, what, isn't it like one molecule away from uh, a plastic or is that just coffee creamer? I don't remember, but it's not real. It's not even good. I mean, why would you use real, I mean, fake butter when you can use real butter? So that was four eggs I just put in there, and um, it's all creaming together. We're gonna let that do that for like five minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna put just a little bit of almond extract in there. That was a spillage over cap full. Oh, that stuff smells good. It smells like that Jergens cherry vanilla whatever lotion. It smells good. Okay, now we need a cup of buttermilk, and I got out the heavy cream too because I was afraid it wouldn't have a whole cup. But I do, look at there, look at there. Undo thing. We're gonna go ahead and pour that in there. Let that be whooping around. While that's mixing up a little bit, we'll go ahead with the, um, I've even got a little bit of that left. We'll go ahead with the dry ingredients. I need three and a half cups of flour. So, um, let me whoop that in there. This is a half cup. 
So that's half one half two and a half three and a half. So three and a half cups flour. All right, got the flavoring in there. Excuse me. Put that down in there. I'm gonna try to barely turn it on so I don't, I don't wear all this flour. Get it, all, get it all mixed in. Hang on, let me get with the How much goes in there? Because mom said just a little bit. So we're gonna do just a little bit of nutmeg. And we're going to do just a little bit of more of cinnamon because cinnamon is good. And I'll let that mix and I'll be back when I pour it up into the bump pan. And stick. Okie doke. I think it's almost uh, ready. It's mixed together. And so I can cut that back there. And I'm just going to get it poured up into a bump pan. The reason why I do it in a bump pan is it makes it look like if you turn it upside down it makes it look like a real old-fashioned donut and i think the kids would get a kick out of having a super ginormous uh, donut i'll take it off in a minute i'll just set that there and get this my a lot of batter. Hope this thing doesn't swell up and gurgle over. I might ought to put this on a cookie sheet. I'm doing this left-handed. Here, let me see if I can switch hands. You stay right where you are. Now we're talking. I'm not very ambidextrous, I think. This is the thickest, richest, butteriest buttermilk pound cake. It's good with berries. It's good with a berry sauce. It's good with a chocolate sauce. It's good plain. It tastes like a donut. A big old-fashioned buttermilk donut. I mean, you know what's good? It's got three sticks of butter in it and two cups of sugar. Sometimes I'll do this and like cupcakes or muffins or whatever for the girls. But today, I decided just to make a big old cake. All right, I think that's good enough. Oh. <laughs> you gotta bake this at 325 for 50 minutes, as I said before. 325. Welcome back. I just flipped this out. It looks beautiful. I decided not to turn it uh, bottom side up. I'm just going to leave it like this. And uh, uh, it's still pretty, pretty warm. I had let it cool in the cake pan for like uh, 15 minutes, I think, 20 minutes, something like that. And then I flipped it out. So this is going to kind of run and melt, but I'm going to do this consistently like every 15 minutes or so and kind of just drizzle this on here and let it dry. And it's going to make kind of a crunchy, sugary light, uh, icing. Uh, it's really, really good. It's not the prettiest cake in the world, but it really does taste good. And I think the girls are going to like it. But you could add chocolate syrup to it. You could put any kind of jam. That'd be so good if you took some strawberry jam and, and warmed it up in the microwave and poured it over it. I mean, the possibilities are endless. It's just a really good... It's a vanilla and loaded with butter. The name of it is a butter buttermilk cake, but it's heavy on the vanilla. And thank you for watching, and I hope you try the recipe. If you uh, want details or have any questions or anything, just let me know below. Thank you. Bye-bye. 
Hey there, just wanted to show you uh, mid applying the icing. Uh, it, we've still got some left. You don't have to put all of it on there if you don't want to, but you put the icing on there in layers and it kind of dries and makes a sugar icing crust. So it's almost kind of crispy. And then you have this really soft, buttery center. It's a very, very good cake uh, recipe. So let me go over the uh, ingredients one more time. Three and a half cups of self-rising flour, a squidgy of salt, just a pinch, um, two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring or extract or paste or whatever you have, um, four eggs and three sticks of butter. Uh, and you just whip it together and cook it for about an hour at 350. I said 325 and I had my oven sitting on 350 and it did great. But just check it uh, in several places with a toothpick when you get it out to make sure that the toothpick comes out uh, clean because this is a very moist cake. It's got a lot of butter in it. Anyway, I hope you try it. It tastes like a um, old fashioned, this is what mom called it, an old fashioned buttermilk donut is what this cake is called. Thank you. Bye-bye.